Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to launch an application on my virtual device. We can understand it while automation. First, we are going to install that application on the device. Then we are going to trigger or I'll say launch application on the device. And then my automation script will execute on that. Aim of this session is to launch application on the device. First of all, these are the prerequisite which we need to perform. So till here we have the prerequisites. So I'll show you how we can do that. First of all, we need to start virtual device or real device. So as of now, I'm working on a virtual device. So I have just started my virtual device, which we have created previously. And I've shown you how we can start that in previous sessions. Now, if you want to check, are you connected with the virtual device or not? So we can start command prompt and command is ADB devices and it shows yes, you are connecting with this device. So first step is done where we are validating. I'm connecting with the device or not. So here virtual device is started and I'm able to connect with it as well. Now we need to start APM server. So we know APM server behave as an interface between my device and the test case that we have written means my test case is going to APM server and from APM server, it's going to the device. It could be a real device or the virtual device. APM server behaves as an interface between the real or virtual device on which test case is going to execute and my Eclipse. Eclipse means where we are writing the test case. Here we need to start APM server. How we can do that? So I'm coming to the APM. That's the APM which I'm using. So, so here my APM window is open or I'll say APM server window is open. It's going to start on my local machine and on the port 4723. So I just click on start server. It's going to start my APM server in the port 4723. So if I can mention that that is started on the port 4723. Then we need to find out main activity or we call it splash activity and the application package. In previous session, we have seen how we can find out the main activity and package. I have written these activity and the package over here. Now all the prerequisites are done. Now we are ready to write test case on Eclipse. For writing test case on Eclipse, first we need to trigger Eclipse. So I have just triggered it and it is asking for the workspace. So I'm saying APM course. That's my workspace. It will take some time to start Eclipse. I'm just waiting for it. And we have already covered TestNG before. So once the Eclipse will be started, we need to create a project package and we need to write the test cases in the TestNG format. In test cases, as of now, I'm not going to use multiple annotations. We are going to use only test annotation. So I'll show you how we can write test annotation. And as of now, we are just using test annotation. After when we are going to create a few more test cases, we will use multiple annotations like before method, test, after method. But as of now, I'm going to show you only one annotation, which is test, which is a mandatory annotation. So my Eclipse is started. I'm just closing this welcome screen. First of all, I am just closing all the screen which are not required. So I have just closed these. Now, as we know, we need to create a project. So I'm going to create a new Java project and whatever the name you want to give. In my case, I'm giving APM start. Inside the project, we are going to create a package. So I'm creating a package here. like test case and we have seen for working on APM, we need APM Java client and Selenium jar. So before moving forward, I'm going to add these jar files. So I'm coming here in the right click on the project, build path, configure build path, libraries, and I'm going to add jar like Java client that is one 
and we have seen how we can download these jar files previously and second we need its selenium so I'm just going for selenium server 3.0.1 you can go with the latest version of the selenium jar as well so here we have the project package and all the jars which are required are added now I'm coming here and we can create a class I'm writing the name TC001 so now we have the project package and class inside the class as of now I'm going to create one method public void t case 1 and over to this method I'm going to use the annotation which is test as of now we are going to write all the test case in the test annotation later on I'll use different annotations so it is asking for your test ng library does not exist I'm saying add this library and import it so we just click on this error and it is importing it is giving us suggestions we are picking the value from the suggestions so everything is done now we are ready to write our first case first test case to launch application on the device here we have completed step 4 now we need to create an object of the class desired capabilities and we need to set five capabilities so what all these capabilities are I'll show you first of all desired capabilities and I'm just giving the object name is cap new desired capabilities now we need to set five capabilities first is set capability my device name here you need to give your device name as of now we are running it on a virtual device we can give any device name we can give any device name like I'm just giving let's say virtual device or you can give device name like whatever device you have created means if I've created a copy of HTC device or you have created copy of Sony device so you can mention it over here so first we need to set device name that I have set over here also we need to set platform name platform name means you are running on the Android or the iOS so I'm setting cap dot set capability and here we need to set platform name and that's my Android next whenever we are executing this test case it's going to install my application on the device and then trigger it then launch it so we need to tell where my application is placed for that first of all I'm creating a file class object and with connecting with my apk file so file f is equal to new file and in my case apk file is placed on this location so I just copy this address placed over here and what's the file name what's the apk file name so that's the apk file name now we need to set third capability where my app is placed which is my app so set capability and my app is placed on this location with the name so that's my app which is on this location so we need to give the app path as well as name we have given this in the file object and now we are passing the object of the file here these are the mandatory capability that you need to define only after that my test case will be able to launch my application on the device so here because what we are doing we are telling like we need to install and launch this app we are working on these devices so these are the mandatory capabilities or I'll say settings we need to do to install and launch app on a device and once the application is launched we can run automation test case on it but as of now I'm showing how we can launch it now next capability is set capability 
that's my if you notice here that's my app package and we have seen how we can pick app package from my android apk file or i'll say android application so what's your app package previous session i have shown you how we can pick app package and main activity that's my app package i just copied it and pasted it over here in the same way set capability and i want to give now activity name so if you notice my last value is activity name i'm just moving there and my activity name and what's the name of the activity it's a main activity or i'll say splash activity which we have find out in the previous session so that's my splash activity so i just copied it and pasted over here all the prerequisite setting are done i have just updated i need all these options to install and launch app on the device it could be a real device or a virtual device now i'm coming here and we have a class like if you worked on a selenium so there we have a class of chrome web chrome driver firefox driver in the same way here we have a classes with the name android driver and ios driver so i'm working on android i need to create object of the android driver and it's say i'm creating the object name is driver new android driver and here we need to give here we need to give url of my apm server because my test case is going to the apm server and then to the android device and second is the capability object so first of all i'm passing by capability object that is the cap and here we need to give url how we can give url new url we need to pass object of the url class so new url and here we need to pass the url of my apm server which we have started so http localhost colon if you remember what was the port name so port name was 4723 4723 and then we need to write wd hub it is asking for exception handling so i'm just clicking on the error because it might be possible that url does not exist so i'm just using throws as of now everything is set we have set desired capabilities here we need to pass url of my apm and we cannot pass url in double quotes we are we need to create object of the url class so we have created the object of the url class and passing that url passing our url as a string and second object is capability object so everything is done i am just going to run it so i click on the run button and here i'll show you here i'll show you if everything goes fine it's going to install app on this device here we can see the testing word is installed and it's going to launch it so let's wait and you can notice my application is launched here and if you come here so you can check tsng everything is passed as of now we are not get it, getting any error so here we have seen how we can launch an application on my device after installing it we have given all the settings which are desired capabilities which are required to connect with any device and install application on that and launch application on that and whenever we are going to automate our application first we need to create object of the android driver class if you are working on a an android device and here in the android driver first we need to pass url of my apm server and then capability object here this option can be right like here i'm going to show you one more option like if you want you can create object of the url like this url url is equal to new url so like this so now we have created a object of the url here and we can pass this object here so because previously we are passing this line on this place means we are creating the object on this place only but now what i'm doing i'm creating the object of this url class 
now this URL object is passed here. So both the options are same. Just to make you understand, I have written this in the two lines. Also, once you are executing your test case, you can notice your APM server as well. So if you notice your APM server, you will find here, like as of now, we are not getting any error here. But if you are getting any error, you will find out red marks over here. Like if I do something wrong, like I'm not giving the correct splash activity. I'm changing my package and activity name. And now I'm going to execute this, giving the wrong activity and the package name. It's getting failed. And if you check here, so we should get some error, error here as well. So it's trying to connect, it's trying to perform the task. And if that is failed over there, so you will notice we are getting exception here as well. If I just go up, so it will show you some exception here. So encountered internal error, you must include the platform capability means it is giving the error like you are doing these things are wrong that should be corrected. So we need to analyze logs as well when we are working on any test case and it's getting failure. So here we have seen how we can launch an application on the device and these are the steps that we need to perform. That's all we have for the session. Thanks for watching this video.